I think the development of full artificial intelligence can spell the end of the human race. Those were the alarming words of the world-renowned British theoretical physicist, cosmologist, and author, Stephen Hawking. Since making its debut in the late 1950s, AI has contributed to significant advancements in our societies and, in turn, improved our daily lives. Today, these giant strides of artificial intelligence can also be seen and felt in different aspects of major industries. As AI becomes more sophisticated, some experts and thinkers have expressed concerns about the potential risks it may pose to humanity. One of these geniuses was the man who discovered that black holes emit radiation, which can be detected by special instrumentation. The scientist, who passed away in 2018, recognized the threat advanced AI has on our society as a whole. He describes an inevitable grim future where AI will take over human jobs and evolve to a point that transcends human intelligence. Back in 2015, Stephen Hawking granted an interview to the BBC to discuss the mind-blowing potential of this new piece of technology. How far along the path to artificial intelligence uh, do you think we are? The primitive forms of artificial intelligence we already have have proved very useful. But I think the development of full artificial intelligence could spell the end of the human race. Once humans develop artificial intelligence, it would take off on its own and redesign itself at an ever-increasing rate. Humans, who are limited by slow biological evolution, couldn't compete and would be superseded. While there are immense benefits and advancements that AI could bring to the world, the theoretical physicist also issued warnings about its potential risks, if not properly controlled or guided. Hawking's apprehension stemmed from the idea that as AI continues to advance, it could surpass human intelligence and eventually develop capabilities that surpass our control. He cautioned that if AI were to become self-aware or gain the ability to improve itself recursively, it could lead to a scenario where AI systems pursue their own goals and interests, potentially conflicting with those of humanity. During a talk he gave at Google's Zeitgeist in 2015, he explained computers had been observed to obey Moore's law. This law says that computer intelligence increases at a much faster rate than human intelligence and, consequently, artificial intelligence would one day overtake ours. Up to now, computers have obeyed Moore's law, which says that computers double their speed and memory capacity every two years. Human intelligence may also increase because of genetic engineering, but not so fast. The result is that computers are likely to overtake humans in intelligence at some point in the next hundred years. When that happens, we will need to ensure that the computers have goals aligned with ours. Indeed, Stephen Hawking's statement that we need to align the goals of AI with those of humans reflects his concern for the potential risks associated with uncontrolled AI development. He emphasized the importance of ensuring that AI systems are designed and programmed in a way that prioritizes human values, ethics, and well-being. Hawking's warning serves as a call to action for researchers, policymakers, and developers to carefully consider the implications of AI technology. He further expressed his concerns about countries participating in an arms race by utilizing AI to develop autonomous weapons that can destroy any target on the planet. In the near term, for example, world militaries are considering starting an arms race in autonomous weapon systems that can choose and eliminate their own targets, while the UN is debating a treaty banning such weapons. Autonomous weapons proponents usually forget to ask the most important question. What is the likely end point of an arms race, and is that desirable for the human race? While these predictions might seem like something out of a sci-fi movie, many scientists and tech experts have shared Hawking's view on the detrimental effects advanced AI can have on the human race at large. As AI systems get better at learning and adapting, there is a possibility that they could develop their own goals and values, which potentially misaligns with human interests.
Giant tech companies like Microsoft and OpenAI are developing more advanced forms of AI and have made bold claims that they are approaching the development of full artificial general intelligence. Basically, an AGI is an intelligent agent capable of learning and improving at a much faster rate than the average human. If eventually developed, it will excel at everything. Today, powerful AI tools have already been deployed, including the GPT-3.5, commonly known as ChatGPT, which made waves in the tech industry, allowing people to get real-time interaction with a chatbot by giving intelligent answers to technical questions. A much advanced version of this, the GPT-4, has also been released and has shown even greater potential than its predecessor. It is a more advanced superlanguage model system that has shown significant capabilities in reasoning and mimicking human-like speech, among other milestones. One can only imagine the astounding progress AI will experience in the next decade. Elon Musk, a major player in the tech industry, aired his views and issued several warnings on the dangers AI poses to our continued existence as humans. Mark my words, AI is far more dangerous than nukes. In the interview, Elon Musk discusses how many people ignore the inherent danger the tech poses, since some experts believe it is impossible for AI to get smarter than humans. He further explains how AI has been growing exponentially in recent years and iterates on the need for regulation in the booming industry. If you pay attention to only the positives AI has to offer the human race, you can easily ignore the potential dangers this technology poses. Stephanie Hare, a technology ethics researcher, talked to the BBC about this inherent threat. She noted that despite these glaring dangers, there had not been any immediate stop to the development of this technology. They aren't talking about what they're doing to stop these risks from manifesting. So they are all still building this technology. They're not saying they're going to stop building it. They're building it. And they're still seeking investment. And this investment is into the tunes of multiple billions of dollars. So that's not really a mitigation strategy, is it? She further highlights some other risks that AI poses that people are not paying much attention to, including the risk of discrimination and identity theft, among others. Plus, Sam Altman, the CEO of OpenAI, has openly come out to say that the technology they are building currently has the potential to go wrong. And he and many others are pushing for government intervention as regards federal regulation. My worst fears are that we cause significant, we, the field, the technology, the industry, cause significant harm to the world. I think if this technology goes wrong, it can go quite wrong. Uh, and we want to be vocal about that. We want to work with the government to prevent that from happening. But we, we try to be very clear-eyed about what the downside case is and the work that we have to do to mitigate that. In light of this, Several experts have come together to sign a statement highlighting the potential risks AI poses and call out a need to regulate this powerful technology. Prominent figures from the industry, including Sam Altman, the CEO of OpenAI, Geoffrey Hinton, widely recognized as the godfather of AI, executives and researchers from Google DeepMind and Anthropic, Kevin Scott, Microsoft's chief technology officer, Bruce Schneider, a pioneer in internet security and cryptography, climate advocate Bill McKibben, and musician Grimes have all endorsed and signed the statement. Currently, the statement is moving mountains as several government bodies are making moves to set some regulations for AI. Another concern revolving around the negative impact of AI is employment. As AI technology advances, there is a fear that it could lead to widespread job displacement affecting various industries and livelihoods. Many industries are looking towards automating more jobs to cut costs and provide more efficient services. While automation and AI have the potential to streamline processes and increase efficiency, it's crucial to consider the social and economic implications of such advancements. It's important to note that not all experts agree on the potential doomsday scenarios associated with AI. One prominent voice on this is Mark Zuckerberg, CEO of Meta. He believes AI development should be actively pursued, as this would eventually translate to helping the human race. With AI especially, I'm really optimistic. And I think that people who are naysayers and, and kind of try to drum up these doomsday scenarios are, um, 
I, I just I don't understand it. I think it's 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 really um, mm -hmm. negative, and and in some ways I actually think it's it's pretty irresponsible because you know in the next five to ten years, AI is going to deliver so many improvements in the quality of our lives. As we navigate the future, whether you support the doomsday claim or not. It is essential to strike a balance between embracing the opportunities AI presents and carefully considering its potential risks. It's a complex challenge that requires collective responsibility and foresight. So, could AI spell the end of the human race? The answer remains uncertain. However, by taking proactive measures to address the challenges and fostering responsible AI development, we can strive for a future where humans and AI coexist harmoniously, harnessing the benefits of AI while ensuring human values and well-being are protected. That wraps up our exploration of this intriguing and thought-provoking topic. Remember to like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more captivating discussions. Join us next time as we delve into another fascinating subject that shapes our world.